Due to being outnumbered and outgunned against the Empire, the Rebel Alliance had to heavily depend on the individual talents and skill sets of its troopers, which it harnessed by focusing on training and direct battle experience rather than reliance on equipment and traditional war tactics. Because of this, the Rebels ended up having some of the most battle-hardened and experienced soldiers during the war, but which among them were the most dangerous and powerful troopers the Alliance had at its disposal? When it came to massive ground invasions, one of the most effective units the Alliance deployed were the Rebel Assault Troopers. These were highly trained commandos who were known to literally charge head-on toward the enemy, pushing through their defenses no matter the cost. They were among the most dedicated soldiers to the cause and were willing to die without hesitation. Due to being the vanguard of an invasion, the Assault Troopers were equipped with far more advanced and protective armor than the regular Rebel as a means to increase their survivability during frontal attacks. Next are the Spec Force Marines. They were a division within the Alliance Special Forces and were primarily used for combat aboard ships, with their tasks typically requiring them to take over or to destroy enemy ships from the inside. Due to the very nature of their missions, the Spec Force Marines were almost always heavily outnumbered against the countless Imperials they faced within Star Destroyers and the like. Only the bravest and most talented were chosen for the Marines, with many of its members having past military experience and formal training from either the Republic days or even the Imperial Army of those who defected. They excelled in close quarters fighting, hand-to-hand -hand combat, and zero-gravity engagements. Their equipment varied depending on the job, but they usually went in with light armor for more agility. On some missions, however, they were given heavily armored space suits, which were likely the most expensive and advanced armor the Rebel Alliance had. The heavy armor allowed them to operate in the vacuum of space, and it provided great protection against most blasters and hand weapons. Next are the Infiltrators. These guys were among the most feared rebels by high-ranking Imperial governors and moths. Although the Infiltrators were not as proficient in direct combat as the last two on this list, they were capable of bringing down entire Imperial local governments and settlements by planting seeds of rebellion within the affected civilian populations. It wasn't uncommon for a few infiltrators to enter a system and for them to be leading a small uprising against the local imperial governor a few months later. Other missions they were sent to accomplish included causing absolute chaos on imperial worlds as a way to distract the empire to focus on them prior to an attack by the main rebel forces. Infiltrators were also known to sabotage imperial installations and ships. Other things they did included kidnapping and in much rarer cases, assassination jobs. Next are the Heavy Weapon Specialists. Also a part of the Rebel Special Forces, these guys likely dealt the greatest amount of firepower on this entire list, as they specialized in heavy weaponry. Rapid fire blasters, heavy chain guns, rocket launchers, anything that caused a great amount of damage, these guys used during missions. They were among the most violent units in the Rebel Army, and were out for Imperial blood, but also the most sacrificing as they were known for purposely drawing attention to themselves as to allow friendly nearby squads to escape dire situations. Only the biggest and physically strongest in the Rebel Alliance were capable of joining the Heavy Weapons Specialist Division, and it was a home to some of the larger alien species within the Rebellion, like the Wookiees. And finally, for this video, we have the Rebel Honor Guards. These guys served as close bodyguards for the most prominent leaders of the Alliance. They were usually found serving their role during large ceremonies, but were also known to serve their duty during active battles. Members of this unit came from numerous planetary royal guard branches, like Alderaan, with a few even being former members of the Senate Guard during the Republic. As such, they were regarded as highly trained and experts in their field of guardianship. Thanks for watching this video. Help support the channel by becoming a member on our Patreon page, and be sure to subscribe for more videos like this one. And as always, may the Force be with you.